This video is brought to you by Squarespace. The turf war gets heated between the Kure clan and the Tojo clan as one of the Tojo, acting as if they were Hamura, got shot on the street. Hamura goes into hiding. What happens next? The mole gets his next victim, Shintani of the Genda Law Office. Shintani dies in the closet of Yagami Law Office. Where do we go from here? A friend has died, and Yagami is at the center of it all. Damn, and you're braver than you look, Hoshino-kun. You got the skills to back it up? Just a third degree black belt. Oh! Huh? huh? Not that I've ever had to use it. He just whipped that out of nowhere! We gotta mark that! That just came out of nowhere! All right, Hoshino? Um, we're gonna call him Baby Badass. Exclamation point, question mark. What? That came out of nowhere. Whatever. What are you all shaking up for? Calm down. Just stick with me and you'll be fine. Got that, Yagami? Hello. What the? Hey. I really shouldn't stare like this. She's gonna think I'm no better than Shintani said. Why does the game let you? Sure, let's go over what we know so far. A recap is want. always good. Our victim was the patient staying in this room, Koichi Waku. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Why are there the not cameras around? That was that they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. Three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. That's Cause of way death was too most likely convenient. Okubo-kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. It's a little suspicious. Every time you investigate a, a room, there's cats everywhere. I mean, there's only one explanation for that, really. The cats are collectively committing the murders. How are they doing it, you ask? Well, this is a research drug facility. So they have created a drug to make cats superhuman. Super cat, you could call it. So there are super cats in this game. Hey, Yagami. Smarter than the You're average never human. Last. It's just like I told you. Whoever did it is framing me. Finally, officially get that. We've known him for so long since the very beginning of the game, but now we finally know that that's Shinpei Okubo. On the I finally have something tangible to base theories on in this game. As soon as you say so drugs and research facility, my brain just goes wild. What I think is happening in this game, on the bigger scale of things, I think that the PD, Tokyo PD, is working with the AD, ADDC. I think that we should see a connection soon between director Kido and Kuroiwa. Kido is the director. He's the big daddy. I'm even gonna put big daddy. He's the big daddy. I think that the Tojo clan and the Kure clan are getting blamed for crimes that they aren't committing due to drugs that are administered by the ADDC and the, with the help of the Tokyo police setting the Yakuza up. Wow, I can't believe I just said that. I said that with like a solid train of thought for once of my life. I'm going to say that Kido and Kuri Kuroiwa, they're currently allies with a mutual interest of driving out Yakuza. You know what? I'm just going to put a bunch of question marks. They are something. It doesn't answer the question of why Shintani, right before he died, called the drug administration. Haven't quite figured out that hiccup yet, but I think that Kido is like the big baddie. And the cause? A minor drunken disagreement. What does he do? Now and even through it all, he wanted me to keep this a secret, not to tell anyone, not even his lawyer, that we were dating. She caused her own death because she came out with that. <laughs> Emmy Terasawa. The same girl who had so bravely proclaimed Okubo's innocence died by the man's own hand. They still haven't described that, how they proved that it's Okubo for that particular case. Yeah, if he did I do it, he could have been drugged. Can you think of anything tying the ADDC to those murders? Huh? Look, just what are you implying? Mm -hmm. Look, I believe we're done here. There's nothing I can help you with. That Please reaction. Stop! Detective Kuroiwa, Kamuro Police, what? organized crime. What? What? My One theory! Of your guests, I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintan. No! 
He knows I didn't do it. He fucking knows. You bitch. They're trying to get me out. I'm Hoshino, an attorney at Genda Law. Hoshino. <laughs> Baby Officer, badass. He's going to save the day. I bet you never saw Hoshino coming. He's putting his life on the pass. line. Oh my Excuse god. I, Hoshino better not die. Be nice. Oh. <gasps> Hatori. I think his name is Hatori. I had a moment. I had a moment. I had a moment. I've been trying to remember this guy's name for like the past hour. <laughs> Cause we've only heard it like one time, I swear. Okay, anyway, moving on. You'll begin to sensei's ace attorney before you know it. I, I think I make a much better sidekick for now. You're okay. not a sidekick, but you're the main character. Old, being a professional sidekick for the rest of my life sounds okay to me. No! <laughs> I think Hoshino should be the main character. I don't know, it's weird. Hattori, we don't know anything about him. Like, does he work with the opposing law firm? No, I don't think so. He's just like this, this random side character who's in most of these scenes and involved with most of these cases, but we don't know anything about him. So, you know what that leads me to believe? Let me bring your attention to the dad and son epidemic on the whiteboard. We got dad and son, we got dad and son, we got dad and son. Technically, Genda is my dad and Yagami's the son too, technically. What is missing on this whiteboard, chat? We have a son in the Kyuri clan, Shioya. Where's the dad? I bet it's Hattori. Clearly, this tells me, by way of the whiteboard, Hattori is the dad of the Kyuri clan, who is also the mole. Got him. And the mole is just somebody that is hired by probably Kazumi, Mr. Politician buying everything out. And Kazumi gave all the money to the Kure clan. Who's the head of the Kure clan? Hattori! It all makes sense! Figured it all out. I secretly hate these whiteboard streams. <laughs> I feel like I got dumber. As we use this whiteboard to figure out the plot of Judgment, we can also use this whiteboard to figure out all the things that you can do with Squarespace. So Crystal, what makes Squarespace so special? Well, let me tell you on the whiteboard. For one, they have an array of custom templates that are easy to use. You have an easy way of looking over your data analytics. You can easily embed videos. You can easily connect your social media accounts. You can easily apply extensions and use third-party tools using Squarespace extensions. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so, head to squarespace.com to get a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the code CRYSTAL to get 10% off your first purchase of website. Now, back to the other whiteboard. Right. I need to go eat. I'm di- Ah! I'm dying! Running, running, running. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, the sign's in my way! The sign is in my way! No, no, no! Oh my god! Talk to the man, yeah, Jesus not. Christ! Another pervert in the Twisted Trio has taken a liking to Tsukino. This one's a grouper, and he already got a big handful of her ass. I swear to god, Yosuke, he's one of the Twisted Trio. This one's name huh. is Ass Ketchum. This guy has ass on the mind, and he'll grope whatever he can grab. Oh no, don't make it worse, don't make it worse! I'm about to delete my chat. I bet he has a partner called Peek at you. I hate it! No! You're tainting my childhood! Don't worry, Sukino. Ass catch him is grass, and we're the lawn mower! Right, get him! It has to be in this general vicinity. I'm staring at it, apparently. Hey. Oh, it's on top of the fucking car! Holy fuck, you're like camouflaged! I didn't even see you! Yosuke, look out! Behind you! Ah! <laughs> I refuse to read this. I... I can't read it, I'm sorry. About that, did you know the ass you grabbed back there actually belonged to the girl's twin brother? I got hard off of a guy? <laughs> Man butt? No! Please, no! Man butts do nothing! 
So Ask Ketchum's been brought to justice. I'd say this case is firmly in the rear view. <laughs> Y'all give me. There's only one of the twisted trio left standing. No way she draws the ire of the next one, right? Look at that smile. It's like he knows what's gonna happen. Yagami knows. He's just trying to convince himself. <laughs> Yagami some up. Ah, well, as you can see, this customer's suit is quite ill-fitting. Ah. Who's this boy band looking knockoff? Oh, he didn't just go there. Bro, I look fly as fuck and you know it. Don't insult me again. Enjoy. See what you did. You upset the other customers, especially with that giant mop of pubes on your head. Is my suit done? Oh, your suit is ready! Yagami in a suit, Yagami in a suit, Yagami in a suit, Yagami in a suit! This is not a drill! Yeah, it looks too weird. Let's go back to the leather jacket. <laughs> it doesn't suit him. <laughs> the leather jacket, though, but he does look nice. What is this hangout spot? Oh, hi! Bring it on. Oh, God! The stronger I get. <laughs> A drunk X action. Oh my god. That was. I don't know. Uh, that was good, I guess. Wait, now we're not drunk anymore at all. That completely got rid of my drunkenness. Maybe I can get in close enough then without them noticing. Without them noticing, you say? We have a tailored suit now. I bet nobody could recognize me as I am now. Yagami doesn't wear a suit ever. How would they ever know that it's me? I look so fly. He doesn't even know! Oh my god, it's just a suit, bro! My face looks the same! Don't tell me this works! What? I just changed clothes! I guess he's not too happy with his 89 business. Right. How'd you get all this, anyway? Uh, it's not that impressive. It was all published online last year. <laughs> Sugira's like, bro, I just fucking Googled it. it Yagami's like, what's Google? Article, but everyone wrote it off as tabloid nonsense. I think they might have been right. Why? It the scared me! Ah, I pushed a button on my stream deck and it scared the shit out of me! I'm like, what the fuck is happening? So Tori's still here? No, he actually left a while ago. Well, that's convenient. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you really did scare him off then, huh? More like he couldn't handle Saori san staring into his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, bitch! Just to be sure. You didn't do it, did you? Go on. Me? Kill Shintani? I'm a prosecutor, remember? Doubting people is my job. Is yeah, but I'm your ex-boyfriend, which does probably gives you more reason on? to doubt, but I'm don't go there. Sure. We're friends. I'm just gonna put this out there right now. I only care about one character in this whole goddamn game, and it's Hoshino. Uh, anyway, that needed anything? to be said. He's you precious did. baby. Here, Ain't nothing bad happening to, to him. Oh, gotta answer my phone. Hello? Hmm? Oh, you must mean Mafuyu. Oh, I didn't know her name. She's pretty, though. Wait, but does that mean you've been following me? Are you kidding me? I'll tell you later. I'd worry more about all the Yakuza tailing Mafuyu. What do you mean you'll tell me huh? later, bro? Yeah. I gotta make a comment that this speaker um, in this I just love controller is Mafuyu. so impressive. Like, it genuinely feels like I'm in a Maybe call. Sorry, I had a moment. I had a moment. I had... Uh, this is not a drill. Okay, so what if this game is the battle between... The Ka uh, Kajahira group and the ADDC. So, if the Kajahira group is the one backing the Kyuri clan and the ADDC is backing the Tojo clan, wouldn't that make sense why Hamura is also in hiding? All right, all right, all right, I'm gonna I'm drop a bomb. What if the ADDC, they're basically giving drugs to the Tojo clan to commit murder? There's a connection and it makes perfect sense. The drugs are bad, so they're for dementia, right? What if it's not a cure? What if it, like, enhances it? I don't know. I'm just throwing shit out there. And now I'm drunk as fuck, but I'm feeling great. Hey, you want to fight? I'm drunk. Wise choice. Got this big old area, man. Big old area. <gasps> Gaming! We came in with the clutch! Yeah! Sorry, I got really excited. 
Wait, Ryan? Why is the ninja here? Ha ha ha! Can't even hit the board. What a plug. Oh. Not good so much. Not bad. What sorcery is this? I actually lost at Shuriken? You mean darts. I don't believe it. I suppose I shall take my leave once again. Farewell, master. This guy hurts my ears! <laughs> Yagami's done! And stay down. N what the? Hello, Ryan! <laughs> what the fuck, Ryan? <laughs> Walks around like a true weep. Yep, that's Ryan Acosta for you. Now what? What? what the? What are they doing? The fucking can can? Dumbass! Give me some fire, chuckleheads! And do twat! What the shit is this? Whatever it is, killing the mood. It's Yagami. Huh? I just interrupted a performance. Oh. Ryan? Ryan! <laughs> take him, take him, Ryan. Go for it. Wow, MVP, MVP, Ryan, take it. Oh, wow. You did great, fam. Proud of you. What a homie. Oh, no, the weave. His weave is gone again. Oh, it's in his hand. Okay, never mind. I thought it was like gone, gone, and I was gonna have to go like on a search to find it. No, he's just fucking holding it in his hand. I'm blind. It flew away again. Wait, this one isn't mine. Wait, you took somebody else's weave? <laughs> mine is over there. You just traded weaves? So my hat was swept away by the breeze like always. But as it happens, someone else lost their hat in the breeze too, but he seems to have retrieved mine by mistake. I don't even feel comfortable at going up and asking you, how do I even approach this? I, I, how about you just don't? We just go away and never do this quest ever again. Oh. Oh. No. No. Why? The wind somehow picked up two wigs at the same time and you grabbed the wrong one. You're like me then? Uh, no, I'm working for- <laughs> Well, why didn't you just say so, bro? You're one of us! Huh? You even rock a black wig and a blonde wig on different days? <laughs> you got mad style, bro! Yeah, sure thing, my brother of the bald! Yeah, brother of the bald. It is I, brother of the bald! Sana-chan's fanboys- Oh! Sana was kidnapped two streams ago, by the way. We finally found her! Woo! Guys, she's still alive. She's fine. But who knows? At this rate, maybe she'll end up famous enough to make it good on the deal. Hopefully by then she'll be on TV and living a life of luxury far away from me in this place. So I get nothing for being a good person? Oh, that sucks. Girlfriends. What? I can have a girlfriend. Note that even if you decline an invitation, you'll be able to go out another time if you message her later on. Unlike in real life. <laughs> Roasted. Oh! You're a cat. I, uh, I didn't know I could just place cats. I can j wait, you mean to tell me I could just have a line of cats? I need more room. <gasps> loaf cat, loaf cat, loaf cat! Yakami kun can you seriously not tell it's me? Wait, the- It's who? Who? Mafuyu? Oh, I feel bad Ooh, that, that I even I didn't recognize it. Phew. There's so many people in this game that are voiced by Trumi Lee, and it's like, I just assumed it was another character and not Mafuyu, because this voice is everywhere with so many NPCs. They use her so much. She got a great voice, don't get me wrong. She does a fantastic job, but holy hell, it is the same voice for a lot of characters in one game. So that's where it's a little bit problematic, because. I didn't even, I was not even phased. Another thing I got to call out is how quick these loading times are. I am very not used to this. It is so weird to have loading screens that are only one or two seconds long. I feel like I'm living a life of luxury for the first time. If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashkisan. I have no obligation to help you. Hold on, you guys are recruiting? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Mufuyu? Oh my- Kaito! Hmm, He's just sense. signing her up! In that case, 
How about her? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, son. Oh she my god. Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? Oh no. She is going to Please, hate that us. Of yours over here. So much. I, see I don't exactly want to break the news to her that we just signed her up for this. Bringing out the red. I have to do it because we're uh, Sayuri. Yagami. I'm putting a red line and it's going to say going to kill. R.I.P. It's very, very important to the plot. I had to put it on there. Take a seat. Oh, God. Dad, don't yell at me. Sit down. Dad's going to yell at me. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Dad, I'm sorry. Every what am I going to do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun, too? Oh, Dad. Something came to me. By the way, <clears throat> there's something uh -oh. I need to Uh-oh, this is where we die. You. This is it. This is the game over. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, sorry, son. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me. Dad, why would you, you say that? One. Dad. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. Dad, you're doing no. a terrible job. Shut up. What do you see when you look at Sauri son? He's gonna huh? simp! He's gonna no, simp! Stop talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Sauri san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Oh, she don't! Isn't that right, Sauri san? <laughs> if you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? She I'll did do it. it for I'll become Orocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Yagami san. We have a dress to buy. See, I knew you had it in you. Oh, she that worked out just fine. <laughs> I love happen, this baby so much. Well I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son, how could it not? Yep, we know you like her. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of sorry, son, once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. Oh, that's why you like want a picture really of Sayuri in a dress this. for the stylist, right? Got you, brother. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Morita san had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafia to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Oh, that Does means that she you? thinks highly of me. <gasps> Look at her. Huh, not bad. Not bad, that's all you, you have to say? Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. Oh, we know what the best makeup for the dress is. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Sorry, san is as beautiful as ever. Oh my god, Hoshino. Hoshino. Yeah, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after Oh, she know! Bruh, he keeps on getting caught in 4K. You guys know what's about to happen. <laughs> Moments before tragedy. You guys just don't understand. Pink eyebrows are in. They are the thing. Oh, those are actually cute. I think Hoshino will be crazy over the pink eyebrows. He's gonna love it. Sayuri looks completely different, and I don't... Uh, but you know what? She got the pink eyebrows. She looks great. We're playing as Sayuri, first Ooh, person. Oh, she's a knockout. See? All the people <laughs> like it. How's the Sayuri-san situation? Going well. The Queen Rouge hired her on the spot. Well, guess what? I've got a job for you, Tak. And it's urgent. Cut. Get down to Public Park 3. Oh, come on. This better not be like some side case bullshit. The only gripe I have about this game are these forced side cases within the main plot. If the main plot is only 15 hours, then the main plot is 15 hours. That's fine. It doesn't make the game any less worth its money. This is like our fourth side case in seven chapters. So four side cases in seven chapters. That's a bit much. It's a buzzkill. My main issue with it is the pacing because it ruins my vibe so much. I want to be doing side cases when I want to do side cases. But if I'm really hooked into the plot at a certain point in time and then you force a side case on me, like, bruh, come on. You just completely killed my vibe. <sighs> my gripe isn't with the side cases themselves, it's just them being forced on you at a specific time. Like, I would love to do this side case on my own time. Welcome back. <laughs> You're so beautiful, Sarasan. I'm changing. Oh, she knows. <laughs> Baby, he's so cute. 
That's the conclusion. Oh, she got rid of the pink recorded. eyebrows. Girl, you should have kept them. Yeah, they were working for the you. Guy. The culprit made it so Hashike wouldn't die immediately. He had to be pretty skilled. A professional assassin, if I had to guess. If he was an assassin, that would mean someone hired him. Yeah. It's Hattori! Isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested? Yep. All depends on how this little chat goes. If I can convince him I'm innocent, I'll clear my name and put the squeeze on Kido all in one fell swoop. What are you planning, Yakami-san? I'm planning to die. Who's this from? <sighs> There's no need to be like that, Yagami-san. It'd be an honor to hear your thoughts on the matter. Oh yeah? How about someone says please? <laughs> please. Great. I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> the sass! I love Yagami. We're not done with you. Just oh no, yet. Are, they're not going it's after Kaito, are they? Indian. You know who Shintani's killer was? It's your old friend. Ayabe? Wait a second. Wait, but they're working with the police. What? He just said that. What? Striations on the recovered bullet are a perfect match to his firearm. Wait, no, I, I, I find that very hard to believe. Did they frame him? On one hand, who is the one person that has constantly broke into my office when it was locked? Ayabe. He's called me twice waking me up while sitting in my office. So like he has access to throw a body in a closet. So that part is yes. But on the other hand, he's not dumb. You cannot tell me if Ayabe did the shot. There's no way that he would make a mistake like that. Listen, Yagami, you gotta help. Someone set me up. They're saying I killed Shitani. I'm sitting here with the prosecution as we speak. Yeah. They're looking right at me. You have to take my case. I don't know where else to turn. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> it's only fair after all you've done. Yo, that's really smart that he's doing this on purpose because he knows he's already fucked. If they're going to look into Ayabe and look at his past record and know that he worked with me, I'm already fucked. So might as well just take his case. We can talk. So, I'll see you in court then. <laughs> Get fucked. I don't think it's about that. I don't think Kurwee was like, he's setting me up, I think. He's putting me in a position where I have to play the lawyer for both Hamra and Ayabe to clear them. I feel like I'm the person being played in this game more than anything, but it's weird that it's coming from Kuroiwa. What makes this game 10 times more interesting is how well Yagami is tied into every point in this plot. Honestly, that's what makes this really intriguing. In some way, shape, or form, there is a Yagami that's involved, which is very smart. I, I like the writing a lot. I can try. I'll let you know once I figure shit out. I, I like that shot of Kaito's ass. Yeah. Should go back to that. Camera did that on purpose, just saying. Why are we fighting in the water? Ah! Hot <laughs> tub <Dumb> stream! <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had to give in to the trend. This is my way of becoming a hot tub streamer. You don't know shit. Oh, but I do, you see. When I was your age, my life was going down the shitter and I just kept flushing. You, my boy, you're the same little punk I was. No you want to know why flashback scenes exist? Is because you know that what? character is going to die. Matsugane is going to die. Man, they fit even better than I was expecting. Oh. You look good. Tom. Oh my god. Oh my That's god. That's the last thing I want to hear. I can't. This outfit. Oh, it's awful. Hello? <laughs> what in the absolute Don't laugh. fuck is this? Don't fucking laugh at me, bro. Do not. <laughs> oh, spare I'm me. I'm going to murder not you. my clothes. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm okay. See you out front of the Matsugane office. All right. I swear I'm to god, ready. if you laugh at me in person. He hung up on me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Fucking what? Don't you dare fucking laugh at me. I swear to God, Sugira. <sighs> no. Hey, Sugira? Sorry, I think you have the wrong guy. <laughs> God, I just can't help it. Bruh! I can't help it, man. That's the loudest disguise I've ever seen in my life. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's perfect. Honest. Yeah, yeah, it is. Get Start kissing my now. ass before I cancel you. This fucking asshole actually you ready, did laugh at me. Yeah, good to go. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Swear to fucking God. It's really not that funny. 
Try taking this seriously for once. We are taking this seriously. Says the dumbass kid who keeps spouting tinfoil hat shit about goddamn human experiments. Tinfoil hat shit? What? <laughs> the only dumbass here is the guy who can't consider all the possible options. Next, you're gonna tell me they experiment on old man Waku too. Fucking idiots. That incident three years ago at the ADDC. The guy who died, Waku-san. Didn't he have Alzheimer's? Yeah. If it meant curing Alzheimer's sooner, he might have been okay accepting the risk. Going down that path, Yagami-san, that means Okubo really was innocent, yeah? We'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> the cat. We're talking about murder. Cat's like, Row! So we proved Okubo was innocent. Obviously, that would piss Shono off pretty bad because uh, Okubo being charged puts him in the clear, right? It, it, it covers up his tracks. Nobody's going to come after him if Okubo... Uh, yeah. So he gets out of jail. Shono's like, okay, let's just drug the guy so he commits this crime and then he can't get out of it. 